Welcome back guys. Today we are taking a look at the Thronmax M-Drill 1. This is a great microphone if you want to do voiceovers or you want to do conversations and interviews with people. It has an absolutely killer build quality which consists of hard plastic and solid metal around the actual microphone. I really can't fault it and it looks super stealthy and killer on my desk. Now it does come in two colors of space gray and also stealth black which I have on video. But the main reason you're getting a microphone is for the sound quality. And I want to say that this whole video is recorded using the microphone shown in the video. Taking a look underneath, you do have the ability to mount this onto a different mount using a screw. There's two different types, so you can mount this onto a regular tripod and the standard fitting for a microphone arm mount, so you can easily mount it from above. Underneath there's also this button and when clicked it does cycle through a bunch of different colors so there's this LED ring. This gives it a really nice effect and it reflects off of the base which really does look nice on your desk. Especially if you have like LED strips down your desk, your whole setup can be color changing and it's super nice. On the back there is two knobs, one of which is the gain and one is the volume. When adjusting the gain, you will see a green volume bar on the front, and when adjusting the volume, you will see a blue bar on the front, so you can easily go ahead and adjust it and work out which volume it's set at. And then at the top of the screen, there's just this option to mute it in case you don't want it recording you all the time. And at the bottom, you have this toggle switch, which actually goes between all the modes. So that cycles through between cardioid, stereo, bidirectional, and omnidirectional. So this microphone's pretty flexible in the type of scenario you're going to be recording in. Something also pretty handy is there's a headphone jack underneath so you can go ahead and plug in some headphones just to make sure that your audio is crystal clear with no interference. In terms of how it's powered it does use USB type C which is really nice. It's always great to see companies implementing this and USB C is definitely heading in the right direction for future tech. So it kind of does future proof this microphone. However, the cable in the box does go to the old USB type, so you'll have no issue plugging this into your PlayStation, your PC, or any other device that doesn't have a USB-C port. So in terms of the price point, it does price in at $88 or £80 on Amazon, so I think that's a reasonable price. It's a great build quality. The sound quality is really good, especially for someone who's just beginning on YouTube. In terms of the actual mount it comes with, it's quite weighted and the actual microphone itself isn't that heavy. It's removable using these two screws on the side and once it's removed it's just kind of this big cylinder body. You could go ahead and hang it above using an arm. Like I said it does have the screw fitting. Okay so just taking a little bit of a closer look, now we're going to go through the modes and I'm going to show you what it sounds like going through each one. So I'm on cardioid right now which means it only takes some sound from the front of the microphone where I'm actually talking into. So everything else around me it won't pick up as powerful as the front so you're going to try and drown out that noise. Um, this is pretty good if you're doing voiceovers, podcasts, if you're maybe playing PlayStation and you just want to talk to your friends. Um, this is the sort of mode you would use. Going into this mode is stereo and you'll probably hear me coming out of one side of your speaker right now and that's because it takes in sound from both sides and this is really good if you're just generally moving around and you're hanging it from above so if you want positioning, if you want to be able to tell from the sound where you are in the room, this is really good. And as you can tell if I move over here it's going to change which sort of side of the speaker I come out. The next one is bi-directional which takes some sound from the front and behind. This is really good if you're doing an interview or even if you're doing a podcast with multiple people. You can easily put the microphone in the middle and no matter where you talk from it's going to pick it up. And the last one is omnidirectional which means you can pretty much move around and it's going to pick up the sound no matter where you move. So this is really good if you don't really want to aim the sound to anyone you just want to record the sound in a room or the sound outside. But going back to the original mode, this is pretty much the one you're probably going to want to stick with if you're doing most things like I am in terms of videos and just general talking. But yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. This is an absolutely killer microphone for the price, the looks, the feel, the sound quality. Everything to me is really, really good for that £80, $88 price point. But do let me know what you guys think down below. I really do hope you enjoyed the video though. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in.